this next little video, I'd just like to show you how to change uh, a couple of little tips and tricks on how to, to uh, crop an image and put an image on, on in in design. Uh, a nice little thing that you can do is you can use a crossing window uh, to select multiple items at once. And then if you hit delete, you can get rid of all those guides. Um, because I think I want to change the way I um, have done my guide. So I'm going to create some guides. And this time I'm going to create uh, three by three. And I'm going to make a bigger gutter in each of them. You can see there now I've divided my, my page into three equal spaces. And I also want to bring another guide across just into about here because I want to uh, construct a circle. Now you can construct circles. If you hold down this one, you'll see there's a rectangle, ellipse and polygon there. I'm going to click the ellipse tool. And the trick is if you hold down shift while drawing your circle, it actually keeps and maintains the aspect ratio. So now I can let it go there. If I've made a mistake with that, it doesn't matter. I can come up here and I can type in 60 by 60 and I can make myself a perfect circle that way. I can also use the screen selection tool or the selection tool to then move my uh, circle back onto my guide, which I put there just to help me uh, locate my circle in a place that's even, because I might want to make another circle down here. Um, and I'll hold down shift again. I want that circle to be the same size. So I'm going to pick that circle. Um, I've guessed pretty close, but we'll type in 60 and 60 again. And now I've got two circles that are equal in size and I've positioned them both on this line. Now I can go ahead and actually make this a cropping window for a picture. So I just want to show you how to do that. So if I select that shape now, I can go control D and then I need to go and find a photo that I've saved. So here's some photos of images that I know that I want to use on my InDesign page. So I've saved them from the internet into a specific folder called pictures for my graphic design. So I'm going to pick that one. I'll click open and you'll see it goes in there behind now and within the boundary of my circle. So if I click, if I double click on that now, I can also see the boundary of my picture. So if I move that picture around like this, you'll notice that it changes the section of the photo that is actually visible within. And I can also scale, and I would hold down my shift button here to maintain the aspect ratio. I can also scale that now so that I can just view the part of that image, that bigger image that's around the outside. I can just view the part that I want to with my cropping window there. Now I've just moved my uh, picture that which was which was behind in there. Uh, around a bit. You can see this red boundary here to, to get the section of that picture that I want and zoomed in. So uh, another little handy tool if I want to zoom back out now is to go uh, fit page to window. And let's say I want to put another image in this picture, in this uh, cropping window. So I'll pick that uh, boundary and I'll go control D. I'll pick this other uh, picture now and then you can see there it is. If I double click in there now I can uh, go ahead and change the scale of that and then I can pan it around inside here um, and if I change the scale down a bit more I might be able to get myself an image that shows how text and scale is used and I can describe that uh, just here beside it.